Hmm. This gives me some hope. Seems like he couldn't fool everybody after all. Still need to be cautious. He convinced a lot of people straight into STEM. Preying on the lost and hopeless by pretending to have the keys to happiness. Now I'm beginning to understand his M.O. The bastard smooth-talked himself right into the middle of the plan. Just to use it for his own personal gain. His handwriting should have been a dead giveaway that he's a psycho. Jesus. This looks like it was written by the Zodiac Killer. Spiritual leader and motivational speaker. No wonder he was able to convince everyone he was on their side. Seemed like a good guy on the surface. Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. Thanks, Kitty. We've got to stop meeting like this, Detective. You're back. New knowledge requires new abilities for the challenges ahead. If you knew something I didn't, you could have just told me and saved me the headache. If only I could. But this is a journey you must take alone. But I'm not alone. I found others to help me. Taurus, Hoffman, O'Neill. They are there to accompany you. But the discovery is yours alone to make. Discovery. And self-discovery. That's what makes STEM so... intriguing.
Let's hope the marrow is still there. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact... Don't kneel. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. I should check up on her. Hoffman, you here? Another one of these. What happened here? Liam? Is that you? Liam? Is that you? How is my communicator getting your signal? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Where are you? What? That's on the other side of the laboratory. It's a restricted area. We were told never to go there. We don't have clearance. How did you... Okay. I understand. Yes, I'll meet you there. Just be careful. Huh. O'Neill left his safe house to go to a restricted area of the Marrow? That doesn't sound like him.
Looks like they had extra security for this place. Tanks. What's this about? Pass through without one of those chips. Gotta be one around here somewhere.
these Union citizens? What was Mobius doing with them? Looks like it goes down forever. Oh no. It's coming. I gotta get out of here. have to do with this place. Kidman was right. They are everywhere. They were right under my nose the entire time. Damn. Mobius were using me as their guinea pig. Long-lasting residual effects. They knew Stem would scar me a way out.
It's all my fault. What the hell is this? Can't move on. Can't move. <laughs> of my pain is me the part of me still stuck in stem never getting out no i'm wrong i will get out but without you what was that it felt different than the others more real like something changed. I feel... good. Huh. My trusty revolver. I haven't seen you in a long time. of Union populace has succumbed already. Our efforts have been in vain. The Corps escaped less than a day ago. Within hours, we began to receive reports of lost emerging in staggering numbers. They're everywhere now. 20% of Union's populace has succumbed already. And they're actively hunting down and killing whoever is left. It's a nightmare. At this rate, there will be no one left in two weeks. We've lost contact with Mobius. We're trapped in here. With the lost. Too late to stop now. The entire Union experiment is doomed. We're all doomed. I'm sorry. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do we have here? If they haven't removed this guy's chip yet, I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. He's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab. for Unity Cerebral Chip. Please wait.
wishes. Out of my way, Sebastian. O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! <laughs> Father Theodore, I told him. Let the flame. 
flames consume you! Thank you, S Sebastian. Uh, finally, free from his voice. From my fears. I was so scared. Y you've got to stop him. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. The machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. What machine? He made me build it. To hide him. Destroy it. So that you can destroy him. What happened? How did O'Neill get turned into that thing? I don't know. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. But he wasn't Liam. He was that thing. I tried to get through to him, but... You heard him. Theodore Wallace did something to him. Poor guy. I didn't want to have to kill him. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't going to give him up. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. Flamethrower. I could use this, but it's broken. I found the right parts. Lots of weird stuff in here. Looks like he was building something. Maybe that machine he was talking about. Mark of influence. Theodore's sticking his fingers in every part of this place. It's almost like a form of communication with him. Please. 
is you. Yukiko, can you hear me? I'm in the fabrication room. Clearances don't mean much when everyone's dead. Just please come and meet me here. I have something to show you. It's important. I'm sorry, Yukiko. But he demands it. You look like you could use some help, Detective. You need my assistance again. I do. I could use some information, most of all. I sense that. But it's all I can sense at this juncture. What do you mean? There's something here that's making things murky for me. For everyone in here. Although there aren't many left in here to clear things up for. You're one of the last. But for how long? That's... ominous. Let's get you taken care of, shall we? Don't you think it... Didn't want to kill him, but Theodore left me no choice.
Kidman, it's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. And we were able to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? Ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? More than most people. Although probably not as much as you. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened... People told you you were crazy. Of course. If someone came to me with my story, I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after Beacon. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I can avoid it. Consider yourself lucky. Union is like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely in STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet. So you know Theodore Wallace? Of course. He's head of recruitment. But what's he doing in STEM? And why is he doing this? There's a lot going on that you don't know about. Theodore wants Lily for himself. You saw what he did to O'Neill. He'll do that to everybody in here if he has to. He'll tear this apart to get his hands on her. I can't let that happen. What is it? I'm not totally sure. But it looks a hell of a lot like the stable field emitter. Whatever it is, O'Neill said to destroy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Sebastian. I'm starting to think you forgot about me. Have you finished arming that cookie dough of yours? I have. Looking for an excuse to use it too. Good. I'm sending you my coordinates. Bring the big guns. We're going hunting. Got it. I'm already gone. See you soon. I'm almost ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. I need you to clarify a few things for me, Hoffman. You didn't seem surprised to see Esmeralda here. Why should I be? She's a familiar face in STEM. Everybody knows everybody in Mobius, huh? More like I know everybody. 
I've been in charge of new hire evaluations for years. Like one big dysfunctional family. Esmeralda's the best person to have around in dangerous situations. She's a good soldier. You're damn right I am. I assume you know Myra, too? I do. We work together closely. How could she do this? How could she stand by while they conducted experiments on Lily? How could she tell Lily that I was dead? Myra's maternal instinct is very strong. She joined Mobius to be closer to Lily. And the word experiment is a bit harsh. Lily was treated well, and she was able to interact with her mother on a daily basis. As far as telling Lily you were dead, I believe Myra only did it to protect Lily's feelings. Yeah, well... I believe Myra's maternal instinct has gotten a little bit out of control. Hopefully, you can work this all out as a family when this is all over. I've been into Theodore's reality. If it's a reflection of his psyche, he's definitely got some serious mental issues. That would explain why he's so powerful. And yet he's hiding. Perhaps it's easier to manipulate from the shadows. Well, I'm about to drag him out of the shadows. If what Liam told us was true. There's only one way to find out. I don't know if you should be in here when this thing goes off. I don't think I want to be. There were some interesting items in the other room that Liam was working on. I want to go check and see if there's anything that might be useful. Okay. But then you should get back to your safe house. No telling what will happen in here once we shut this thing down. Will do. Tell me something, Torres. So you knew Hoffman before this? Everybody knows Hoffman. You don't get into Mobius without passing through her office. Can she be trusted? I might have said no before, but nothing like being abandoned by your corporate masters to make you rethink your position. She's trapped in here like the rest of us. Hmm. So you're not sure? Yeah, she's not bad. Just a bit of a cold fish. I have trouble completely trusting people who look at me like I'm something in a petri dish. I don't know what's gonna happen when we blow this thing up. Me either. But at least we're being proactive. I don't think we're gonna convince Theodore to leave Lily alone. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who can be talked into doing the right thing. So you're giving me orders to shoot on sight? I'm just saying be prepared for anything. You can't predict what's gonna happen in this place. No offense, but how did someone as smart and headstrong as you wind up in an organization like Mobius? I was a demolitions expert in the army. They loaned me out to Mobius for some black ops stuff. Once my term was up, they came knocking. And you just joined up like that? They were pretty good salesmen. They don't tell you everything when you sign up. I was... tasked with some things that I'm not proud of. They expect you to follow blindly, and if you disobey... When Myra offered me the opportunity to get out, I had to take it. I've still got some morals left, despite the things that I've had to do. Is that enough to take care of this thing? Like ten times over. And it's ready to go when you are. I'm good to go. I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. Okay, here we go. Operation Kick-Ass happening in three, two, one. Are you okay, Torres? Torres? Where'd you? Sebastian Castellanos. You refused to step into the darkness. So you tried to bring me to the light. Your rash decisions have always been your downfall. Come then, I await you. You want to find your beloved daughter? Go there. See if it's everything you dreamt of. Here. 